Hey YouTube, it's Zoe, or read by Zoe, and today I have a very, very large book haul. I think in this book haul I have 30 plus books, and that's just insane. Apparently all I've done this summer is read and then buy more books, and this is a result of that. Because I have so many books, I'm not going to be able to talk that much about each individual book, but I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. The first book is no surprise, because it is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the last book in the Immortal Instruments series. It was so incredibly good, I was so happy with that ending, and I... It's, it's just perfect. Because I couldn't wait to read this physical copy though, when it came out in an ebook at midnight, I bought it on my iPad. This isn't actually my iPad, this is my dad's iPad. I'm going to get my own iPad soon for college, and then I'm going to be able to read more ebooks when I have my own actual iPad. But I read about half of it in an ebook version, and then I switched over to the physical copy. And after I finished that book, I picked up The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. This is an extra book that goes with the Shadowhunter world, which is the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments. This is basically the Shadowhunter textbook, like how to be a Shadowhunter, what to expect in the Shadowhunter world, and it has notes written in by Clary, Jace, and Simon from the Mortal Instruments series. If you look at this artwork, just look at this, then I bought an entire series, and it is the Goddess Test series by Amy Carter. There are four books, these four books, and a novella in between the first and second book right here, which is The Goddess Hunt, and I have that on my iPad too. So there is The Goddess Test, The Goddess Hunt, which is the novella, Goddess Interrupted, The Goddess Legacy, and The Goddess Inheritance. If you don't know what The Goddess Test is about, it's a retelling of Greek mythology set in the modern world. And the main character, Kate, her mom is dying, and her mom's last dying wish is to go back to her hometown, Eden. So her and her mom pack up and go to Eden. Kate meets some interesting people who turn out to be gods and goddesses from Greek mythology, and she, in some twist of events, has to take a test to try and become the goddess of the underworld, the goddess test. Hmm. Then I have another ebook, and it is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have, if you can see, City of Heavenly Fire, The Goddess Hunt, and Obsidian right here, so these are the three ebooks that I have purchased this month. I have not read Obsidian yet, but I have heard great things about it. I'm really excited to read it because apparently the main character, the main girl character, she is a book blogger. Then I picked up The Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. This is the last book in the Vampire Academy series. If you saw my last video, which was my Booktubeathon TBR, I am planning on reading the fifth and sixth book, which is Spiritbound and The Last Sacrifice to finish the Vampire Academy series, and I'm excited to finish it. I've been reading the series for about a year now, and I want to finish it because it's really good, but I just have not sat down or read all the books yet. Then I picked up Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. This is the first book in the spin-off series of Vampire Academy, and it focuses on Adrian and Sydney. I heard it's even better than the Vampire Academy series, so I'm really excited because I love me some Adrian. Then I picked up Never Fade by Alexander Bracken. This is the second book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. I liked The Darkest Minds, but it wasn't my favorite book. Next, I picked up The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is the sequel to The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, which I read earlier this year. It's basically about this girl who is kind of crazy. She has PTSD because all of her friends died in a building collapse and she was the only one who survived. She's just kind of crazy. You don't know what's real and what is actually her mind just making up these crazy images. And I picked up Requiem by Lauren Oliver. This is the third and final book in the Delirium trilogy. I read Delirium a couple of years ago and I don't really remember it, but then I watched the Delirium pilot, which was pretty bad, but it still made me want to continue on with the rest of the series, so I picked up the last book. The next book I picked up was For a Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. I just bought this a couple of days ago at Barnes & Noble, and I'm so excited to read this because I love Four and I love Divergent, and I'm so happy that she is giving us more material so that we can just live and breathe it. I got this next book at Books A Million, which I went to for the first time, and I am absolutely obsessed with now. It's just it's just a great bookstore, and it is The Raven Boys by Maggie Seavater. I I don't really know what this is about. I just know a lot of people are obsessed with this series and really, really like it. Do these boys become ravens or... I don't know. These boys' names are Blue and Gansey. Who names their kids Gansey and Blue? I got another book which I don't really know what it's about, but I know a lot of people have been recommending for me to read it, so obviously I picked it up because I have a book buying problem, and it is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The last book just came out and everyone was all up crazy about it and so I picked up the first book because I want to read the last book and know what the hype is about. It's about Russia, I'm pretty sure because there is Russian architecture right here, 
And I picked up Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss and I am so excited to read this book because it's about this girl assassin and then there's the love triangle and th yes it just sounds really cool and just she looks really kick butt. It's like ooh I command the stage and the cover of this book. The next book I picked up was Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and I always mix this up with Shadow and Bone and Smoke and Bone. They're just very similar to one another. The next three books were graduation presents from friends, and the first one is The Giver by Lois Lowry. This is a modern classic about a dystopian society, and there is a person named The Giver. The next book is a mythology book, and if you know me, you know that I really, really like Greek mythology, and this has a whole compilation of different mythological stories. It just sounds really cool because if I'm just in a mood to read a story, I can just go through here and read about different things. Like, there's Perseus! I found Perseus! The last book I got as a graduation present is Big Appetites by Christopher Bofoli, and it's tiny people in a world of big food. So this person is mowing an orange. It's cheese! It's people and cheese! People in a world of cheese! I love food puns, and I use them in everyday conversation. The last books that I have are all contemporary books, and I have quite a few of them, so let's get started. This book I had to repurchase, and it is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is the second book to The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, and I had to repurchase this because I left the original copy at the beach. I got it wet in the ocean, and I left it out somewhere to dry and then I left it there, all neglected. The next book I bought was Forever in Blue, The Four Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brashears, and this is the last book in the Sister of the Traveling Pants series. I bought two books by Gail Foreman, and they are Just One Day and If I Stay. Those rhyme. Did she realize that her books rhyme? If I was an author, I'd make all my books rhyme. That's a great idea. Good job, Gail. Even if you didn't mean that, good job. I bought If I Stay because obviously the movie is going to come out soon with Chloe Grace Moretz, and I watched the trailer. It looked really good. I started tearing up even though I haven't read the book yet. I was just like, this is really sad, and it looks really good, so I'm excited to read this, and I'm going to read this in August with Books Over Looks, whose name is Beatrice. If you do not know who she is, you should check her out because she's cool, and we're going to read this book together just one day because I've heard really great things about it. And the next book I bought was Stolen by Lucy Christopher, and this is about a girl who gets kidnapped at an airport by a guy who has been stalking her for a while and is obsessed with her and is in love with her, and brings her back to the Australian Outback, I believe. I bought Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Leverthan. I bought this from Book Outlet a little while ago, and this is a Christmas book, so I'm going to wait to read this until Christmas. Then I picked up 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I have been wanting to buy this for years now. I've been hearing great things, and I never picked it up. The next book I picked up was Everything Leads to You by Lena LaCour, and I love all of her covers of her books. They're just all so beautiful, and I just I love this. It's another contemporary book. A lot of people have been talking about it and saying how good it was. It's about this girl who goes to LA and things happen. The last book in this book haul is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen, and it's about this girl named Emily. Her best friend Sloane is way more outgoing, and then Sloane suddenly disappears and leaves behind a list for Emily to do during the summer, filled with challenges for her to do and just come out of her shell. It sounds really interesting, and I also love the cover. It just, it's so cute. It's so cute, and I'm excited to read this because I just finished Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and it was fabulous. Those are all of the books that I purchased within the last month. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!